Um, is it really only race though, or is it like do you have all your stuff together? Because if you're a successful guy, bro, yeah. you'll be amazed at how people will look aside from race if you got your shit together. As yeah, man. for sure. You know, so that's something else you got to ask yourself: Are you the best man that you could be right now? And one thing I would particularly do if I were you is that no matter what happens, you have to find a way to make it your fault. Because what the last thing that you want in your life is to think that there's some stigma or some disadvantage against you that you have no control over. Mm. So yeah. um, even if they are racist, you have to be like, okay, well, what if I was Kanye? Would they be racist then? Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, facts. You know, like that if you way played you, in the NBA, would they be so racist? Probably right. not, bro. Yeah, like if you were like some kind of fucking senator or something, would they be? Or if you had a big business and they're, they'd be like, well, if they were racist, they'd be like, well, He's a black boy, but goddamn, he's fucking yeah. good. Like, their racist ass would yeah, turn bro. around real quick, man. So, <laughs> and that's something that I think is really, really important for you to take in, man. Because I say this out of love. It's like, if you don't look at it as your problem to solve, and if you can't solve it at your fault, you'll always be a victim to it. Damn. So I say that with complete love, man. Like, you can do it. Yeah. You can make who you are as a man so much bigger than race that it doesn't matter who the fuck you're dating. They're going to be like, that dude's fucking... This is controversial, but I'm going to say it for all the people. Like, oh, my God, Marion, you're not even black. I don't give a fuck. A lot of the times, guys, when people have these these stereotypes about black people or they don't want you to deal with a, with a colored guy, whatever it may be, you guys want to know how I shattered this, like, you know, this this racial thing. Because, guys, whether you want to believe it or not, for all the people out there, Marion, you're not foundationally black, or these other stupid-ass buzz terms, they don't give a fuck. When they look at my skin color, they're like, oh, he's a black guy. They don't care about my hair texture, my nose, none of that shit. At the end of the day, police pulls me over. They're going to still look at me like I'm a, I'm a fucking black guy. I go into a store. I'm still going to get racially profiled just like Jamal. It doesn't matter. They look at us all as this fucking same. They look at the skin color. So let me tell you what, what I did to get around that shit. Don't fucking fit the stereotypes. Don't, right. don't dress like an idiot. Don't speak like an idiot. Don't be a fucking loser. Don't do drugs. Don't uh, do criminal activity. If you're able right, to just have your shit together and be a good man, irrelevant of your fucking skin color, you'd be amazed and how much respect you're going to garner off of who the fuck you are and not letting them judge right. you off of the color of your skin. You break the stereotypes, okay? You smash them. You destroy them. You hit it out the ballpark like, wow. You almost want to make them feel stupid for even thinking that they would a, a, a align you with those fucking degenerates that they have in their mind. Because here's the thing. Racism ain't going nowhere. People no. are going to be biased. Human beings are designed to look at something at face value, judge a book by its cover. That's how they are because not everybody has fucking Bobby. time to be in the bookstore reading books all day figuring out your fucking story, bro. The world doesn't owe you understanding. They're going to judge the book by its cover. It's your job to put the best cover forward so that people say, hmm, you know what? This isn't like all these other books in this genre. Let me pick it up and open it. And then when they do open it, they're pleasantly surprised. It's your job to change the cover, not theirs to accept you. And I think that's the biggest issue that we have in modern day society where everyone thinks, I should be accepted how, no matter how I behave or how I look. No, fuck you. No one owes you understanding, and human beings are inherently judgmental. So what are you going to do? You're going to cry about it and say, no, we need to be, human beings need to change. They need to give me the benefit of the doubt. They're fucking not. Bro, that is fucking gold, man. That yeah, is man, gold. because, like, you know, I'll say it. Like, in the black community, a lot of guys, like, use this excuse that I'm black. I'm being racist. I'm being profiled. Become better. So they have no choice but to not make you the stereotype. That's what it comes down to. I get it. We got a chip on our shoulder for being colored. Cool. What are you going to fucking do about it? Are you going to overcome it? Or are you going to cry about the problem and say, it's because I'm a black guy. They don't like me. Fuck that shit. If you're excellent enough, I promise you, they're going to look beyond your skin color. You can, I've, I've done it so many times in my life from the way I speak, the way I convey myself, uh, what I've done in my past, uh, being articulate, being uh, well-versed in different you know, things in life. This is how you destroy the stereotypes. This is how you do it. That's how you overcome that fucking boundary. And unfortunately, people don't like to hear that because it takes what? A little bit of self-work. Because now people, uh, you know, don't get to judge you by the cover of the book. That's gold, man. That's absolute gold. Yeah, man. It, it, these are the tough conversations more people need to hear, man. I'm not going to sit here and coddle you because you're black and say, nah, bro, it's fucked up. These racist assholes, fuck that shit. I'm not telling you to go ahead and impress them and be a dancing monkey. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that be the best version of yourself, and that speaks volumes.